The current European champions face the team that came second in South American goals in four years. Ronaldo has four this tournament, but he's never scored in the knockouts. While Luis Suarez's World Cup history is littered with controversy. The infamous handball of 2010, followed by the biting scandal of Brazil and Uruguay, the only team yet by Diego Godin in particular. Box work is absolutely brilliant. And if you think about this goal against Morocco here, his head in, his movement is wonderful. And I'm just thinking about it from a defensive point of view. If you're Uruguay tonight, if you're Godin and Jimenez, the cost very, very well protected by the midfield. So it's going to be a fascinating game, is it? Definitely. Really is. Um, remember this afternoon, Ronaldo might have been parading his famous frame on the clock in Sochi. Temperature still 26, 27 degrees, and with Ronaldo Suarez. two days next Friday and Saturday the uh, semis the following Tuesday and Wednesday the finals is fit to resume his Atletico Madrid club partnership with skipper Diego Bernardo Silva of Manchester City has recovered from illness while new Leicester City signed seven goal classic here but this is a tie with all the necessary ingredients one or two of the most feared forwards in the world game played this afternoon I think uh, they'll, they'll be happy with either of these opponents but if you a lap sort up towards Cavani is being penalised for easing Tete under the ball. Yeah, he just has a Ronaldo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo! Straight up Fernando Muslera, the Uruguay goalkeeper who is still to be beaten this year. There's the little layoff there, he doesn't quite catch it, does he? He's going on short for that top corner. Two. This is Cavani. Swung beautifully into the path of Suarez. Into Cavani! Sensational start! Cavani finds Suarez. Suarez finds Cavani. They've been at it for 12 years together now in international colours. It's quite a combination. Uruguay lead. What a diagonal ball it was in the first place. Cavani to Suarez, he's pulled out on that left-hand side. João Mario. Guerrero's cross, six towards. So say front of the far post. Surely he was trying to direct it down to Ronaldo or Goldwoods. Well, it was a nicely worked uh, corner kick that's whipped in from Bernard. He's just leaning on, that's the fact. And he couldn't resist. Adrian Silva. It's a little close, and it's come now for Suarez. Portugal caught out. Luis Suarez. Support was a little late in arriving, and maybe a corner was the best that he could get there. It was well pinched, wasn't it? From that's a good ball in towards Cavani, who was a little late, and uh, as a result, was caught Jose Font, who's in some pain. Support from Benton Cup. Here's Suarez, spun to the ground by Jose Fault and Uruguay will have a free kick. It is Luis Suarez. Oh, that's a good save from behind him. Patricio knows, he gets his feet working quickly, gets across, didn't quite catch it, did he, Suarez? A bit more power, might have been in trouble, the keeper, but... Uh... João Mario, it was... Yeah, there's Shikam in an awkward height, he couldn't quite control it, he actually knocked the ball against his own arm, and has been uh, picked. Guerrero, trying to find a piercing pass, but Genesh couldn't turn, but what he has done is win a free kick, and it's very much in Cristiano Ronaldo territory, they thought about it. Can he get the ball in position? Ronaldo, hit the wall. There he goes with the instep this time. His free kick that he scored with was... Ricardo's cross towards the head. 
And Ronaldo is uh, getting sure got up in front of him and I'm not sure that Ronaldo didn't foul him. Yeah, you just see Ronaldo try. Joao Mario with a cross in towards Pepe. Cleanly fielded though by Fernando. Bit. <laughs> Cavani has had it. He's got it. Oh. Well, the first touch was pretty good. The finish wasn't great. Well, first and foremost, it's clever. <laughs> so far, Portugal for after seven minutes of Uruguayan defence. The thoughts of Gary Neville, Lee Dixon and Slavin Bilic. Often than not, you see him there rallying the troops. He does deliver. Uh, maybe they have to either change the system or change the strikers to play with Ronaldo. For Portugal, it's going to be hard. They're going to have one or two chances, set pieces or, the, or Ronaldo magic. But, but it's 10 million people, Uruguay nation. In terms of resources, these are too big for that. Confederations Cup finalists just all over him quickly, but the ball ran kindly and set up nicely actually for the uh, volley. Got a little bit of fortune that he couldn't capitalize upon. He's found a way to Joao Mario. Ronaldo is there trying to set up. A shot on the edge of the penalty area, Adrian Silver just wouldn't run for Gennes, but at least it's a corner for Portugal and some encouragement. An equaliser which has seemed more likely since the break. It's 1-1. One, one. The first half they tried to play a couple of shots. <laughs> in a pretty uncompromising fashion. The first and foremost, it was Cavani isn't coming back like he did in the first half. He's just sits now. Gedesh deflected, corner kick. But do they stay in? Benton Cook. Here's Cavani! Oh, a... This World Cup is getting better and better. The goals are getting better. The drama is getting greater. No sooner a Uruguay take back than they come up with a magnificent reply. Edinson Cavani again. Fabulous finish. What a finish. Galero. Oh, it's just over the head. And the goalkeeper spilled it. Chance with Madonna and Silva! Well, much as Muslera wants a free kick, he's not going to get one. So it was a big chance on the wrong side for Bernardo Silva. You see Maria just getting in his way there in his eye line. He hasn't grabbed it. He hasn't. <laughs> I don't think that's a loving land to score a Serie A goal until March, but it's Forezma. And towards Ronaldo, just glanced away and struck first time, and hopefully by Guerrero, but there are an awful lot of bodies between him and his target. Did you see Ronaldo? They play nice and tight, Uruguay. Suarez is... With the outside of the foot, over the head of Ronaldo and Andres. So I suspect that if ever in truth, Rosler had everything behind it, he has made one still to oh, Fernandez seeing a lot of the ball and wasting it. Ronaldo shot and it's sliced. Four more minutes. Bernardo Silva. Oh, it's in towards Andre Silva. Got a couple, he wants one. And here comes Christian Rodriguez. Oh. One last Portuguese chance. No, he's told him again. Well, he's played on the outside, Charisma. That's a foul. No way has he challenged the goal. It's come through to Charisma. It's Uruguay who go to the quarterfinals. It's Cristiano Ronaldo and the European champions, Portugal, who go out. Edinson Cavani's two goals. One 
headed early in the first half. The second steered magnificently home, deserving of winning any game. 